How to rotate an object by specific degrees in Word 2019 or 365. Hi everyone, it's Deborah, and in this very short video I'm going to show you how to rotate a shape or object by specific degrees. Okay, so I have uh, obviously Word on my page, and the first thing I need to do is go to my Insert tab, and I'm going to choose a shape. I'm going to click and drag to place the shape on my page. And I think I'm going to give it a different color. So I think I'll go here. All right. So now you know that at the top of the selection uh, border, the selection border, there is this little rotate tool. And if you place your mouse on it and click and drag left or right, you can obviously rotate it wherever you want it'll stay there when you remove your mouse. Okay, I'm going to undo that. But what if the instruction tells you to rotate the object by a certain amount of degrees, like 10 degrees, 15 degrees, whatever. So I have this shape on my page. In order to do things to it, I have to select it. But instead of single clicking, it's better to double click on it. Why do you do that? Because then by double clicking, the formatting tools and menus will show up here up at the top at the ribbon. So if you wanted to rotate it, you can go right here to the Rotate Objects button. It's in the Arrange group. And when you click that, you have several choices. If you just want to rotate it to the right by 90 degrees or to the left by 90 degrees, you can click either one of these. And you, if you just hover your mouse over one of these, notice that the picture gives you a preview of what it will look like. And if I roll off of the, the menus, it goes back to the original position I put it in. You can also flip it horizontally or vertically, but we're not going to get into that here. So if I were to rotate it to the right by 90 degrees, I could just click on this and boom, it's done. And I can click away from it and get into my other work. But what if the instruction tells me that I need to rotate it by some other number, by some other degrees? Well, what you would then do is click the rotate button. And instead of choosing any of these, you would go here, more rotation options. So when you click that, you get this layout menu uh, dialog box. And there's a lot of things you can do here, positioning, text wrapping, um, text wrapping and size. But the only one you would need to really worry about if they tell you rotate by x number of degrees is right here, rotation. And it's right now set at 0 degrees because it hasn't been rotated. So you can choose these buttons. In order to rotate it to the right, you would just click the up button, but in order to rotate it to the left, you would click the down button. And notice now that there's a little negative sign, and that means that it would rotate to the left instead of to the right. So, But what I want to do, I want to rotate it to the right by, say, 15 degrees. So I can just click and drag to select that rotation number and just type in the number I want, 15 degrees, and click OK, and it's done. That's the 15 degree. So uh, I'll show you one more time. I'm going to undo what I did, make sure that you've selected the object and that you have your formatting, shape formatting menu, uh, or rather ribbon up here. Click the Rotate Objects button. Click More Rotation Options. And in the rotation area, you can either click and drag to select the uh, degree and put however many degrees you want it to be rotated, or you can use the up or down arrows here. So I just put 25 degrees in there. It's a little bit more than 15 degrees, and that's how you can do it.